Happening today, local groups plan to rally outside City Hall. They are calling for the removal of Confederate monuments on public property. A group that wants to keep those monuments also plans to rally. News for Jackson reporter Brianna Andrews is joining us now live at James Weldon Johnson Park. And Brianna, you know, it's been more than two years since the mayor said that all Confederate monuments in Jacksonville need to come down. And so far, only part of one monument has been removed. We're standing right across from City Hall and right behind me, you can see this is the base of a Confederate statue that was removed back in June of 2020. It still says Confederate Memorial on it. Jacksonville's other Confederate monument is located in Springfield Park, formerly known as Confederate Park. It's the Women of the Southern Confederacy Monument, and it was built as a tribute to the Women of the Confederacy. The monument is still standing, but has been covered. For some, it represents part of Jacksonville's history. For others, it represents hate and oppression. Today, local groups will rally for the city of Jacksonville to remove the monument still installed on public land. The Northside Coalition of Jacksonville and Take Em Down Jacks are among the groups expected to rally at James Weldon Johnson Park this afternoon. They say the monument sent a hateful message. Northside Coalition issuing this statement in part, it's time for the city council to immediately remove the Confederate monuments because they represent racism and racial hatred and a risk to public safety. A counter protest is also planned by members of Sons of Confederate Veterans who argue the monuments are part of our history and should stay put. This debate isn't unique to Jacksonville. Yesterday, crews in Richmond, Virginia took down the city's last remaining Confederate statue. The monument honored Confederate General A.P. Hill. The first monument was taken down in June of 2020 by protesters. Richmond City Councilman Mike Jones hopes this will create a positive change in the city. We truly want to see the words that, you know, were embodied in the Declaration of Independence where we talked about, you know, life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. That has to be embodied in every community. A judge has ruled it's up to Richmond city leaders to decide where the statue will be transferred. As for what's happening in Jacksonville, several of our News for Jacks insiders shared their thoughts about today's protests. Bill Stow says, I think it's totally ridiculous. People from the South are the only ones in America who are not allowed to be proud of our heritage. When I think of our heritage, slavery does not even come to mind. Ayayay says, why do you need Jim Crow symbols to memorialize the Confederacy? The protest begins at four. After that, it could be months before we may see any action on the Confederate monuments. And keep in mind, Mayor Lenny Curry had called for their removal, but he is planning to leave office next year. And voters will elect a new mayor in March. Reporting live from downtown Jacksonville, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.